Hello, Collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. Okay, so Collective, this is weird energy. I got to say, I have had to start this reading over three times, okay? I haven't even made it through the, like, shuffling in my spiel, okay? Um, I sat down at the table to do this reading, and I instantly got really shaky, okay? Um, uh, in the first take, I even, like, kind of choked. I feel like something's happening to my throat chakra. I'm shaking like a leaf. I don't know what this is. I'm picking up on somebody's, ang like, anxiety here. Um, I don't know what this is, okay? I don't... We're going to find out. So anyway, this reading isn't going to be for all of you. So just, yeah, look, it's judgment day. Just take what resonates. Leave the rest, okay? Don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, for your likes. All of my subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. Everyone new here, thank you so much. I love you all so, so much. Guys, it's, it's like, it's distracting me. Okay, oh, somebody's nervous. Some, I'm shaken. Somebody's nervous. Somebody's scared. Um, have it. They know they've got to like spill the beans here. They've got to have some kind of conversation or something's got to come out into the open. Um, I feel like somebody's about to approach. Yeah, look at this. It's been so long, though. But it's been such a long time that they've been... It's like they know they've got to approach you. They can feel this energy, too. It's making this person... Giving them a lot of anxiety. All right, Divine, what do you have for the collective? What's going on with this energy? Holy cow. I don't even know. Honestly, I might not even... I might not even post this, guys. Um... What's going on with this person's energy collective or divine? See, look at this. A lot of passion, a lot of passion, a lot of fire. I'm feeling nervousness here. Look at this. Chaos, fighting, stress. I feel like this is inner turmoil. I really do. I feel like this person is kind of stuck between not wanting to come forward, acting like a pouty kid, knowing they missed out on a beautiful opportunity, right? I feel like they feel kind of uh, safe underneath this tree. But here's the thing. They're, they're having a fire lit, okay? There's some kind of anxiety here. I'm telling you, this is what it feels like. It feels really shaky. I feel like they're being handed this one last opportunity. It feels like one last opportunity opportunity for this person um man and the look at how the horn is tooting right at this person's head like get up get up right um yeah that's kind of what it feels like to me but they've got all of, this is all internal it's making this person shaky it's giving them a lot of anxiety guys i'm i kid you not i kind of just want to put my hand down so it doesn't shake okay that's how shaky I am. And I don't have a reason to be nervous, man. You know? So I know this is your person's energy. Um, yeah, they're being, they're being told to come forward and apologize. Yeah, take this love. You know what I mean? And I feel like they're scared because this person has betrayed you in the past and it's time to give you your justice. Um, I always compare the Queen of... So oh... That's what this is. That's what this is. Yes, something's going to, oh, this is why your person is so freaked out right now, you guys, okay? They're about to confront something in a home situation. I feel like this person had a decision to make between a, a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Swords. You could be a Virgo, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, whoever they're with could be a Libra, heavy Libra, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe a Pisces. This is what it is. This person is getting ready to tell somebody they want a divorce. Um, there's going to be a home situation that's going to crumble. It's going to cause a huge fight. I feel like this person's got a lot of... 
man, they're nervous. They're going to have to confront this Queen of Swords if they want this um, Empress and the Minor Arcana. If they want this blessing, they're being shown. This is, you don't, you don't have any time left. You're not going to get any more chances after this. You're going to sit here and cry and pray because I feel like they're praying for another chance with you. They're sitting here praying. Okay, and the divine is saying, okay, listen, listen, we were getting ready to close this thing down. You, we're giving you one more opportunity. If you're going to be praying, we're going to give you one more opportunity, but you don't have any time left and we're not waiting. It's go time. It's time for you to get up and come out with it. What you want. You have to confront this situation. That's what the divine is telling this masculine. Confront this. Um, they're currently with a Queen of Swords. And this Queen of Swords already feels betrayed because this Queen of Swords knows um, that this person wants you, collective, okay? Uh, they want this Empress in the Minor Arcana, Empress, Queen of Cups energy. And I feel like this Queen of Swords already knows it. They can intuitively, like, pick up on this energy. They may have already... Um, gotten some kind of attorney or something lined up, okay? Um, because, yeah, they can sense that this tower is coming down on their relationship. But your masculine, they need to step up to the plate. They need to do their part. They need to come in and tell the truth and face everything that they've done. Like everything that they've done. I also feel like this person can't really move um, in their situation, they can't get out of this until they take a stand, okay? So, yeah, this is somebody who's really nervous. Um, they're about to tell this Queen of Swords that they, they want a divorce or they want it over so that they can come to you. Now, this person's been praying for you. They have. They've been praying. So the Divine is like, we'll give you one more chance. You got one shot. Do not miss your chance, right? This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Yo, I'm here in Eminem. So yeah, they're being told in order to in order to get this blessing, you need to um, come towards a collective. You need to bring in their justice. You know, you need to clear everything up. You need to um, tell them how you feel. You need to give them a decent apology. Okay, but first you need to confront the Queen of Swords. The one that already feels betrayed. I feel like this is who they're with. She knows. She knows the situation's coming to an end. And this masculine knows when they tell this queen of swords, um, it's going to cause a big fight. I do feel that inner turmoil here. Somebody praying. Somebody sitting here feeling like they do not want to do this. They're feeling like kind of angry. Like they're in the naughty chair. That's what it feels like. They've got a lot of, they're fighting with themselves because they really want this new beginning. But they're sitting in a comfortable spot right now until they tell this Queen of Swords they don't want this anymore. They know there's going to be a fight. This person could lose a lot in this also. They could, they could lose their shirt, man. They could lose all of their abundance pretty much or at least, you know, um, a good a good part of it. They could end up having a lot of um, financial issues. They could be out in the cold. They could be homeless. Um, they could lose a property. I feel like this is something they need to do quickly. They need to do this quickly. They need to talk. They need to everything that they've done here in this picture. This is each wand is something that they don't want to confront. Okay? They got to come out with it. All of it. They've got to they've gotta talk about all of it. To both of you. Okay? The queen of swords that they're with and you. The loving one. The intuitive one. Whether you're a water sign or not. Right? Um, the one who's abundant. Like, what do they want? You know? What do they want? I feel like this person, too, it kind of feels like they're, this is something they have to push through. I just saw the, the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. Somebody's going to end up heartbroken in this. 
I feel like the Queen of Swords already is uh, getting prepared for this news on the down low. She probably hasn't said anything about it yet, but yeah, I feel like she knows this is about to go down. And you can sense that this person is coming towards you to try to um, make things right. Uh, yeah, they've been praying and the divine is answering their prayers here, but they have to do their part. This isn't going to be easy. And this person, I feel like they are scared. They are scared to confront the situation. They're shaking. They're doing this reluctantly. See, here's them praying. Oh, oh dear God, please help me. I feel like once they bring down that tower... They're coming straight to you, collective, okay? They're coming straight to you. I saw the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, and there it is. They're coming straight to you. See, you have got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in the deck is ten. At the tenth pentacle, you got everything you need. You're not, you're not hurting. Believe me, you're living a comfortable life, and you're happy being single. You're a single person here. That last pentacle that you don't have stands for a soulmate connection and a commitment and generational wealth, okay? Um, and that's what this person wants to bring to you, to give you that ten of pentacles so that you guys can build something together. Um, I see that you've done most of the work, though. Most of these pentacles are yours. This person may actually only end up with one pentacle at the end of this divorce, this could be all that they have left. So they're coming towards you with not a whole lot to bring to the table. Um, I kind of get the sense that they underestimated you in that way. Like maybe when you guys um, were together, they saw it as um, maybe you didn't have enough to bring to the table. That you would always be in peasant clothing. See, um, two shakes before this one. You're at the Seven of Pentacles, somebody who could be trying to build something for yourself, um, but not reaping the rewards yet. Um, investing in something that you're trying to nurture and grow, right? Waiting to see the results. Putting in that hard work, um, but it's it could have been dirty work, you know? Like um, uh, you could have had a really manual, difficult job trying to build this abundance. You know, either way, I feel like your person saw you in a time of struggle and they underestimated you and didn't think you would ever be a success. So they threw you away and chose this Queen of Swords. And they haven't been able to stop thinking about you since. They've been praying for you. They've been praying. So, you know, um, now I feel like this person, everything's been flipped. Now everything that you've nurtured has grown into a success. You're abundant. This person was way wrong about you, okay? But now they're in a time of struggle, and it's going to get worse. They could literally lose their shirt in this split with this Queen of Swords, whether it's a divorce or not. If they have a property or something together, they may need to move out of that situation for a chance with you. They may have to... Um, I don't know. They, they may have to sell the property or they're going to take a loss, a big one. I don't know. But um, yeah, <laughs> and they're going to take their only pentacle and come and bring it to you. But this person is scared. They're scared here in this card, this nine of wands. They're scared here in this one. They're wearing body armor. <laughs> You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this person showed up in bubble wrap. Um, they're scared, but they're coming in collective. They're coming in with the love offer, and I feel like they're going to lay it on pretty thick. Um, you're moving forward. Some of you are, are moving away. You've definitely leveled up in your life. Um, you could even be in the public eye here. I feel like some of you are in the process of cutting this person out of your life and moving on. Um, I feel like it's taken them way too long to come forward and right their wrongs. I, I Yeah, and I was just going to say, you were really betrayed by this person. You were sacrificed in a third party after being underestimated and thought of as a nobody. So, you know, and then you waited. I feel like you were patient. 
you went through this process as uh, you it's almost like you were expecting them to come in and do the right thing you know treat you like a human being okay um meanwhile you were putting in the work in yourself healing um growing that garden right um becoming a success taking good care of yourself so now you you're already healed and this apology that you've waited for for so long it could have been up to six years for some of you here that you've been wondering to yourself are they going to come and treat me like a human being are they going to show any kind of respect or consideration does this person have any any like quality good qualities and values and morals are they going to show me something positive are they going to talk and apologize you mean all of these things that's what you were thinking about and all trying to heal from everything that they did to you okay well now it's it's taken them so long to come in um i feel like you're like i said you're in the process of detaching moving on some of you could be moving like a location change um yeah this person who broke your heart they're about to lay it on thick now i can kind of see this as love bombing they're coming in really strong um i love you collective there's no one else like you but you know i mean they're really gonna be emotional this is gonna be a very emotional talk and they're gonna be laying it on really thick okay and i feel like you may you may think that this is just lies you may think that they're just lying and they very well could be there's a lot that they don't want to tell you even though the divine is telling this person you've got to tell all the truth you've got to come out with everything they don't want to they have free will um this person they may be lying to you i think you're definitely going to see this person as a liar and somebody that you can't trust it's almost like um you may even be thinking to yourself that they're coming in to take your abundance or take whatever they can get okay and leave right you're sitting in the empress throne here i feel like you're going to be making the judgment call on this person i don't think you can trust them i mean i i think that's how you're going to feel that you can't trust them yeah look i i feel like um you're going to have to use your intuition there this could be something that you want um you could even be thinking to yourself did you they may be trying to hide like a getting someone pregnant that's you're going to be having questions i feel or you're going to be looking for any red flags um because you may be thinking this person is they're with somebody they started a family there's a they're in a, a property a home situation um they're happy i feel like you're gonna you're gonna be thinking this person's hiding a full-on family from you and only coming in to take your abundance you see this person as a heartbreaker someone you can't trust yeah you're gonna think that they just want you to give them some money it's all it's you're gonna be thinking it's all about money um they actually are leaving this karmic though but i don't think you're gonna believe this person yeah because they walked away from you for third parties before they've walked away from a lot of people before and you were just um you know this person like treated you like an option yeah cutting them out like a boss like a boss because you see this person as a schmoozer a player okay yeah but the the thing is is they don't um they know they invested in the wrong thing they don't want to let you go I feel like you're going to tell this person that you quite simply just can't trust them for all of these reasons. I think you may tell this person that you're happy on your own because you don't have anybody breaking your heart or playing with your, your head. Um, you don't have anyone lying to you, cheating on you, treating you like an option. You know? Um, yeah. And I feel like this person's going to have a painful ending. They're going to realize they waited way too long to come forward. And you don't feel the same way about them anymore. 
all of that emotion is gone. All of that water in that lake bed is dried up. So, yeah, I feel like, here's the thing, though, they're in love with you. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you could be a, a Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. Did I say that already? Um, yeah. You're going to be cutting this person out like a boss. Speaking your truth. You're going to be speaking the truth. And um, you're going to be protecting all that you've created here. Yeah, they're going down. This person, you're going to make them feel extremely defeated. Um, but yeah, the, the truth is, is they really are leaving the karmic behind. They may have started a family. They may have gotten committed to this karmic. But this person is about to confront the karmic and break it off so that they can come to you but you're not going to see it that way you're not i feel like someone here is not going to trust this person i feel like the karmic is still hanging around okay angry upset maybe wanting to say something definitely observing the situation so they're monitoring this they're watching you they could be watching you from afar they could be watching um, on the internet right social media, wherever they can. I feel like they're still hovering around watching the situation. All right, so what else can you show me here? Yeah, but your King of Swords energy, you're not backing down. This person is about to approach you, Collective. I kid you not. They are about to approach you here. Um, it may be like they may start off with a simple text message or a little phone call. Can can I come and see you? I want to talk, right? That's about it. I feel like, yeah, you'll let them come in and talk. But you're going to be speaking your mind as well. But yeah, collective, this person cannot get you off of their mind. And so get ready because this talk is going to happen um, your person's really nervous, like shaking, okay, as they make their approach. Just know that. But the ball is in your court. And hey, if you can't trust them, you can't trust them. If it's been too long, it's been too long. You know, you are completely justified in um, cutting this person out, okay? But it's a decision that only you can make. Anyway, Collective, that's what I have for this reading. I have to clear this energy. I can't take their nervousness anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got to clear this energy. So um, I, I, I hope it helps. I hope it resonates. Like and subscribe to the channel uh, if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.